No, Sue, you must be kidding me! And these are just special effects. Sammy, believe me, it is possible to make an animation yourself. You only need to figure out the process. Oh! No problem with that. I like figuring things out. I'm happy to see you so enthusiastic, Sammy. Right. I need to get everything ready. I think I've got some thick cardboard. And me? What should I bring? Bring me some skewers and, yes, a small plastic tube. I'll be right back. Well, let's get started. Right. This is our base material. And these are the tools we need. Hi, guys! Today, Sam and I will be making a flipbook animation machine. Have you ever tried drawing simple animations in a notepad? Give a thumbs up if you have! Here, Sue! I found the skewers, though now we can forget about kebabs. These are all the skewers we've got! That's all right, Sammy. We'll restock later. What about the tube? Like this? Oh, no, Sammy. That's a drinking straw. I'll get one myself later. Sue, I think I understand how to assemble the machine. But where do all the pictures come from? And how to put them together? Hmm. Well, I think I understand. Though we'll need to work on that. Right. Let's assemble the base of the machine. And then we'll figure out how the pictures work. Let's begin! First of all, we'll make the bottom part. We need to measure a rectangle 23 by 13 centimeters. And measure strips 2 centimeters wide inside the rectangle and cut them off. Remember to be careful! I always remember! That's why I delegate this dangerous work to you, Susie! Oh, I don't even know if I should be happy or sad about that! Right, the parts are ready. Now I need to glue them together! I've been wondering if our viewers use hot glue. Pause the video and reply. Do you use a hot glue gun? Are you careful when working with it? And I'll read your comments later! I like working with hot glue. It's so strong, you can glue anything with it and even make a piece you need. And it's just mesmerizing. And we need to glue this piece of flexible cardboard on top. Carefully. The base is done! And now? And now we're going to draw. Oh, that's unexpected. This is the part we're going to need. You can't draw it with a ruler. Oh, it's for the side holders, right? That's right! We are going to need four parts. Hey! I said four parts! Done! Wow! You're really good at this. Thanks, Sammy! I'm doing my best! <laughs> right. Let's glue two side parts together. And then, onto the base. We'll add a strip of cardboard on top. One. And two. The part is ready! Susie! Is it time for the pictures yet? Yes, Sammy, it is. Because we can't go on without them. So, to make an animation out of pictures, you need to select a fragment of a video that can be repeated over and over. Animation is made of pictures that change each other. Usually, there are 24 frames in one second, but it'll be enough to have 12 frames per second for our machine. By frames, do you mean pictures? Yes, that's right! The video we're going to be showing in our machine lasts for about 3 seconds, and we'll need 40 pictures for it. <gasps> 40 pictures?! Looks like animating is a very difficult job. Do you want to become an animator, Sammy? Well, I thought about it. Then keep watching! To make our pictures turn over automatically, we need to assemble them in a special way. I'll use these three pictures as an example. We need to connect the top of the picture with the bottom of the previous frame, like this. I'll tape them together. And voila! When we flip them, they're going to make the correct frame. Do we need to cut all the pictures like this and switch them? Yes! But not with scissors and tape, but with Photoshop or any other suitable computer program. <laughs> Come on! <gasps> so interesting! I can't wait to see this pile of pictures start moving! Patience, my friend. We need to insert the skewers you brought into them. Look, we'll apply some glue on the upper part of the picture. Then, place a skewer in and fold them in half carefully. And we get this rotating frame! We need to do the same with the rest of the pictures. Charge! What a pile! 
how to reattach it to the animation machine. We'll need wheels for that. Let's draw a circle 4.5 centimeters in diameter. Now let's measure 4 centimeters and draw another circle, a smaller one. It'll be a guideline. Then we need to measure half a centimeter and make holes with the help of the compass half a centimeter apart from each other, along the guideline. In the end, we'll get 40 holes which matches the number… …of the frames we've prepared! That's right, Sammy! There should be a hole in the middle, too, like the one on the sides. We need to make four parts like this. And glue them together… …in twos. <laughs> oh, no, Sammy, I'm sorry, but a straw can't support this structure. <sighs> well, fine. We need this kind of tube. Let's insert it into the opening and put the wheels on. I've cut two small wheels to secure the structure. Great! And we'll need a handle for convenience. It's made of these parts. Boom! Done! We'll attach it to our machine. It works! It works, but uh, it doesn't show anything. Yep, now we need to insert the frames we've prepared into the openings on the wheels. Keep working and I'll go get some popcorn! Ah, oh, this is very monotonous work, but it has to be done very carefully. The pictures should be attached one over the other from the first to the last. I'm ready to watch! Oh, one moment. Action! that there aren't any special effects in this, only hard work. As in any interesting job, Sammy. Listen, what if I want to make a longer animation? Well, the machine has to be bigger. <sighs> okay, guys, this craft turned out great. If you liked it, give a thumbs up. And if you know how to make it even better, or using other materials, leave a comment below. While you're doing that, we are moving on to the next craft. How are you? We are doing great because we just hit half a million subscribers! Sam, high five! Uh, okay, why do you need a movie clapper? So I just wanted to thank you, dear subscribers. To make you happy, we decided to make another one the coolest. Yes, and also because you like the previous one so much. By the way, I'll leave the link to this video in the description. Sam, what are we going to need? Amazing! Unforgettable! Corrugated cardboard! Almost! And not just corrugated cardboard, but the five-layer one. Our machine will be super sturdy. What's next? Wondrous! Fabulous! Cool! Unspeakably useful! The only… Sammy, let's not do the special effects! <laughs> uh, you told me no special effects! First. Let's set the compass to 14.5 centimeters. And draw a circle with this radius on a piece of cardboard. What is this radius? It's… <gasps> hey, maybe our viewers can help you. Guys, if you know what a radius is, comment below. Now I'll carefully cut the circle out by the outline. Guys, always ask adults for help when working with sharp objects like a knife. Now I'll take a short thread and get it through this hole in the middle of the circle. And fix it with a drop of hot glue. Sam, I see you! What are you doing? I, uh, I'm going! And now I'll show you how to draw a perfect circle without a ruler or a compass. This cool life hack will definitely come in handy at school. Commercial break! Do you need more school hacks? Subscribe to my channel Sam, and… you better go make some cardboard stripes. Me? I have really important… Okay. 
I'm sorry, guys. Sam just can't let us craft in peace. Let's carry on while he's away. I'll make a mark on the cardboard with a ruler. And another one. And now, it's not just circles drawn on cardboard, but a spiral and the base of our machine. Hey, Sam, where are the stripes? Here we go. What's this? What? Stripes! Zebra stripes! Oh, I wanted you to cut them out, not draw them. <laughs> stripes! Cardboard! What else? Take it over from here. I gotta run. And if you like my stripes better than the cut stripes, give a thumbs up. Oh, Sam. His approach reminds me of my little sister, Samantha. Well, it's good that I already cut out these stripes out of double layer cardboard. It bends really well and will work great here. Now, I'll apply some glue to the first stripe and start making a 3D spiral by the outline. Gotta be accurate here. Careful now, just like this. Done! It reminds me of a hypnotic spiral. But some details seem to be missing. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> yes, right, great angle. Now, another small cardboard piece here. Oh, wow, well, it's okay, like this. Yes, here, very well. Apply some glue and attach this piece at a small angle. Why do you have my phone? Just don't get mad. You're making an ever-working candy machine, right? Kind of. And you deserve a Nobel Prize! Oh, just imagine. You'll be interviewed. They'll be filming you for the news. The whole world will be interested in how the genius invention was created. So I'm capturing it for history. And the scissors and other stationery? For the ambiance, of course. It's a DIY category. Okay, go capture. But don't get in my way or they'll be making news about you. What do you mean? <laughs> While Sam was having fun, I prepared the details we'll need. I joined them together, like this. I'll attach this complex part to the spiral. And fix it with the hot glue. What would we do without it? Let's place a power source down here. And attach the revolving part at the top. Everything should look very neat. Like this. Now we need to cover up all these mechanisms. These details will be the base for our spiral machine. I'll attach them to both sides. One and two. And here goes a little stick to fix the mechanism. I made a small cutout for a switch here. Let's attach another smaller detail to it. And the final touch. Get the cap in place. And done! <gasps> Look how awesome it turned out! <laughs> now it kind of looks like a fan. Action! My name is Sam, and I'm a friend of Miss Sue. Oh, no, wait! I'm her mainest press agent. <laughs> me, a YouTube star? <gasps> Why, yes, yes, it's true. I have my own channel. Miss Sue helps me a little. Talent attracts talent, you know. How is it living with a genius? Oh, don't even... Oh, I will destroy you! I wonder what Sam's doing. No help whatsoever. Oh, well, I'll surprise him with the finished machine. I need these details to build the rest of the machine. To put them in place, I'll need supportive parts, like these. Apply the glue carefully, because it's very hot. And glue one support to the base, like this. And the next one. Now, let's set up the chutes. You see how one support is slightly higher than the other one? That's so the candies can roll down. Now, I'll put all the supports all around the machine. Let's go! everybody who helped me to get this honorable award, but special thank you to Slime Sam. Without him, I would still be some unknown hands on YouTube. Sam, come on! What? And then you'll say one more thing exactly like this. Dear friends, if you like my ever-revolving candy machine, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the best DIY channel of Slime Sam. Yeah, right. By the way, it's ever-revolving only until the batteries die. How? What about my dreams, my hopes and expectations? Oh, Sam. 
Timmy, stop with the drama. I better show you how this machine works. 